Jesse Watson from Kate's Surf Shop here. We're called Kate and Surf Shop now, but Canvas by Caden was originally opened in 1954. We've been in this location, I believe, since 1960. Walter and Nancy didn't have any kids. Nancy passed away in 1982 or 83. When they passed away, they had no kids. They left the business to Sato, who being a seamstress and didn't want the business. So when Nancy told her she was gonna leave her the business, Sato was like, oh, I don't know how to run this business. I can't do it. So naturally her son, Glenn, was the one that took over the business side and she just kept selling. He's basically family to me. You know, I've known him my entire life, which has, has been great. And we've been able to have a good partnership. I consider her family. And I also try to take that family value and kind of spread it to my customers. You know, I, I want everybody that comes in here to feel like they're part of the family and they can just hang out at a surf shop and not have us pressure them into something. Or I want them to walk through the door and, and know all the employees' names. I want to make them feel like they can walk into Caton and feel like that they're welcome here and they're part of the Caton family. Uh, and that's kind of always from when I was younger, is not trying to get people in and out of here and sell them product they don't need. I want them to come in, feel like they're welcome and feel like they can hang out. I want people to come in, hey, what's up, what's your name? What do you need help with today? Cool, you're beginning, doesn't matter. We're all the same, come on in, we'll get you everything you need and we'll get you something down. We try to contribute to the local community as, as much as we can, even if it's not surf specific. Uh, sponsoring schools, whether it's the surf team, the golf team, banners on the baseball fields, football fields. The surf community, we try to do sponsorships for contests, whether it's a seal beach contest, beach cleanups, board swaps. We facilitate the board swap. We're not charging any consignment fees or any fees for the guys to come out and set up in the parking lot and sell boards. We just want people to come out, hang out, have some coffee, have some donuts, sell boards, be stoked. They can either swap or exchange money if they need to come in and use, you know, the credit card reader. We'll charge them a small fee, but like, we don't take any money from that. We just want people to come out and be stoked and hang out and have a good time. I mean, on the sustainability side, most of the brands that are sustainable will have some type of call out on the product, right? It's our job to kind of like, uh, the knowledge of the product that we have is just to convey that to the customer. We're always trying to look for small local brands. And then again, conveying that message to the customer when they're looking for something, you know, telling them that, hey, it's a local guy. You know, I can't completely you know, exile the bigger brands because they still sell, but I like bringing in smaller assortments to the floor and giving them a shot. And my hope for the industry is, you know, it, it keeps, it just keeps, you know, growing and thriving. There's always, you know, either an athlete, a surfer owned brand, a local kid that wants to design clothes and is stoked. There's always someone with an influx of new radness within that scene is we'll just keep doing what we can do to bring in those new brands and kind of focus on the brands that people want to see uh, whether it's sustainability local stuff different designs writer owned brands uh yeah we're just going to keep doing what we do we want them to continue to sell to us so we can continue to make those friendships and those relationships and get people in the water and, and keep them in the water, keep them coming back, you know, get them, get them stoked. And like, you know, we don't want them out there doing it and then not liking it or getting on the wrong equipment and then not wanting to do it anymore. We want to stoke the customers out, get them on the right gear, support the shop and also support the brands that they're buying, you know? So we want the, the brands to continue supporting. I want people to walk out of here with the right equipment, go surf on that equipment and say, hey, this stuff works. Those guys told me it was going to work and it works how they told me it was going to work. And again, there's going to be misses. Somebody might tell you they surf better than they do and you get them something they don't need. But then again, facilitating a trade in or whatever it is to make sure that they're still out there stoked. You don't want anybody out there having a bad time. You got a small window to surf, at least a lot of us do. And so you want them out there and having a good time, man. I want them to think that we got them in the right equipment. You know, like, that's our job. So, they're stoked, I'm stoked, you're stoked, everybody's stoked.